Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Brian over here. Just wanted to give you another video about the Toyota Tacoma. So this is going to be a video for people that are possibly going to get their first Tacoma or people who did and they just want a resource to go over the features. So I'm sitting in a 2021 Toyota Tacoma SR5 and the SR5 is what I call the bread and butter of your Tacomas. Of course you have the base model which is the SR but a lot of people like the V6 4x4, so that's where the SR5 comes in. So anyway, if you picked yourself up an SR5 or above, you know, if you get something like a TRD off-road or a Sport, some of the things will be slightly different. But this is going to be pretty much the frame that all Tacomas are based off of. So here we go. I'm going to go from left to right. So new for SR5 and up, we have a standard electronic seat so you can actually adjust the seat forward and back up and down recline and get some lumbar support down below i have my hood latch i also have the reset button for my tire pressure i have the control for the bed light this activates the automatic high beams which when i put the headlights into auto and push this forward the auto high beams are turned on with that. This will turn off my traction control and vehicle stability control to enhance the power to the wheels. Here are my window switches with an automatic on the driver's side. I have my window lock, door locks, and the mirror adjustment. If I turn this to the L, I can toggle the left mirror. If I turn it to the R, I can toggle the right mirror. The middle selection will actually make it so that it doesn't really do anything. I have four of these scrolling vents that close like this. And then onto the headlight system. This will turn all the lights off. This is automatic, so it'll sense when it's dark out. That's going to be parking lights if you want your interior lights on and some dim exterior lights so people can see you while you're parked. And that's just a manual version for the old school people. This is going to be your fog lights on and off and then of course back is the uh, high beams off and forward is the high beams on of course like i mentioned when you're in auto if you push this forward and this is engaged you'll have your auto high beams i can adjust my steering wheel with a lever here and it will actually come towards me away or go up and down and i can lock it back in like this up top I have this little stock right here that's actually going to go through my trips and then I can press and hold to clear, press and hold to clear, turn off or show the odometer. This little symbol here is telling me that if I twist this, it'll change the brightness to the gauges. So when I twist it, not showing now because the truck's not on but let me turn it on by the way that check charging system is totally normal to see when you're in battery mode that's the truck reminding you that you're in battery mode so when i twist this i can dim down the gauges and the interior lights or brighten them up if you need it a little easier on the eyes or a little brighter to see so that's pretty cool got my engine temperature display rpms speed and fuel there's a little arrow by the fuel symbol to let you know that the non-locking gas cap is on the driver side on the steering wheel on the right you'll see a little pad here with arrow select and back those operate the middle screen here called the multi-information display so i'm just going to go left to right so i have different menus here some of the menus like this one i can actually go up and down using the up and down arrows Here's where I can change some settings to the pre-collision system. And this gives you information about gas mileage and gives you digital speed. I can select or go back. This will save one of my favorite pages on there, so I can just push the button and it'll instantly go there. Here I can change the volume to the radio. I can go through the different song presets. If I pick up a phone call, I can even change the phone volume here. Then I can end the phone call there. 
This will go through the different radio modes, or if I press and hold, it'll mute the radio. And then here's voice commands. On to the other side, I forgot these two little buttons. So when you're in cruise control, which works by simply pressing this button, and it'll say radar ready, and then I press this down to set it, and it'll show me a speed on there that I have it set to, which it's not gonna show now because I'm not on the highway moving, but then I can go up or down in speed. This button works with that system because this is part of Toyota Safety Sense. That changes between three different following distances. So you can follow close, medium, or far. And then here's your lane departure alert. So when you press that, you get the little symbol of the car on the top right. That's going to alert you by beeping. It won't steer you back in like it does in some of the smaller cars, but it'll alert you if you're going out of your lane. Horn is right here. And that's everything on the steering wheel. Let's take a break and go up top to the easy stuff. Sunglass case with a felt backing so I can put it lenses in. I have my guarded button for the safety connect over here. This operates the different lights, so that's off no matter what, on with the doors only, and on now. Of course, I can operate them individually by touching the actual lens. Here, I have an auto dimming rear view mirror, so that gets dark on its own. It has a little light sensor here, and then there's a little green button. Well, not a button, but a green light that tells me that it's on. I can turn it off like this, but the green light means it's on. I got a compass too, which is nice. I'm gonna save this for the end down to the center console when I open this up got a little carpet down here and two glowy USB plugs but for the Apple CarPlay I use this plug and if you don't know Apple CarPlay or Android Auto don't want to upset the Android people you plug it into this one and your phone will prompt you and it will show you some of the apps right on the screen which is nice so you can use your favorite navigation and just push the map button to see it the cool thing about Toyotas and most new cars now is when I go into a different gear like drive, neutral, or reverse, it's going to tell me right here. So I don't need to really look down at my shifter. Speaking of reverse, my backup camera's right there. What's up, Camry? Handbrake, push button release, simple and easy to use. When I go into drive, I can move it over one time to the left, and it goes into shift mode. Now, see how it says S4? I can actually toggle down in gears or up in gears. So I can have full control of the RPMs and the gears when I'm driving. Then I would just go back into drive and up into park when I want. So that's nice. For the cup holders, this will come out. So I can rest a phone in there if I want to long ways. ECT power. In the Toyota book, it'll tell you for, for better uh, positive feelings when driving. Basically, it lets the transmission rev out a little more to give you more of like a power mode feel. If I push this, the rear window will slide open. If I pull it, it slides shut. And then of course I have the old school for us 90s babies. Electronic four wheel drive. I just turn this and it will go into four high. You'll get a blinking symbol that goes solid and green right there, representing the four-wheel high. High means high speed. To go into four low, what I want to do is, and I have a video for this, I would put it in neutral, then push and turn, and it goes into four low. There you go. And now you got your four low blinking in orange. Then I go into either drive or reverse. To come out of it, I push and turn back, and then back to two wheel. Of course I have to be neutral to get out of four low as well. Low means low speed. This button is going to be my defrosting mirrors. Wonderful button for the winter time. And on the SR5 I have the dual zone climate. So since I'm synced I can change everything as a whole. But once the passenger changes theirs I'm unsynced. So that's nice if people don't really agree on how comfortable they want to be. I happen to like it really cold in the summertime and really toasty in the winter. My girlfriend's a little more modest with her temperature choice. So we're very happy in my truck with this option. Once I synchronize it when I'm driving alone, I yank that right down. Fan speed is here. Air direction is called mode. You got these little nubbies here that help you feel exactly where the middle is. Mode will go through the different 
air directions. That's supposed to be a person. Then I got my front defroster. There's no rear defroster on the trucks, of course. And this will shut the system off. Then I can resume it like that. Hazards are right here, very easy to get to. See right there, right by the uh, right by the steering wheel and by the four wheel drive. I like that they did that. Instead of making you awkwardly let go and find it in here somewhere like on some cars. This is a touch screen. I can power on and off the radio like so. I have different areas that I can navigate here, but it's kind of like an interweb, so everything is connected. In the menu, I have the setup selection where I can change my color theme. I can turn the beep on and off. You can do a lot of different stuff here. You can even train the voice recognition system to recognize your voice. Then the home screen gives you different information all at once. I'll make a video going deeper into this technology. If you have the upgraded audio system, you can even program your remote starter right there. SR50 turnkey, which some people really like because when you turn it off, you know you got your key. You don't have a fob to forget, like on my truck. And there it is, the Toyota Tacoma SR5. This is the double cab variant, which means four doors. And I hope this was a helpful video. I tried to keep it around 10 minutes going over all the different stuff as far as buttons. You know, because when you get into something new like this, that's what people wonder. They wonder, what do all the buttons do? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. I like the positive comments, and I also don't mind some constructive criticism. So let me know what you liked about it, if there was something that I missed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.